a few people have made comments about how close the train actually gets to the edge on this part of my layout. And I always wrote back in the comments saying, don't worry about it, nothing's ever going to happen. I'll never drop anything off the side. And then, of course, during the live stream, I moved my arm and hit a car, and of course it hit the floor. So, in this video today, we're going to make this side a little bit safer for running trains. So I'll talk to you in a minute. So, how are we going to make this side a little bit safer for the trains to go around? And my arms to fly around? Well, I think a piece of plexiglass will work right there. Oh, you can't see it. Still got the plastic on it. Now you can kind of see it. So we're going to cut the plexiglass so it'll fit down the side of this and maybe be about an inch and a half lip over top. So about that big. Get that straight. But before we can do that, well, if I'm going to put plexiglass on there, this side's going to have to look a lot better than it does now. So, what am I going to do? Well, I'm thinking it's going to be a bit of a long project. So, a couple things to drink. Always good. Got my trusted Dr. Pepper. We got some plaster cloth cut to length. I believe they're about six inches. We've got some paint. We've got some coarse turf. And we've got something that's going to represent weeds. We've got the plexiglass, some clamps, piece of wood to put on the bottom to give my plexiglass something to fasten to. So let's give her a shot and see what we can do. Back in a minute. So just for this video purposes, you can see I'm doing a live stream at the same time, so everything's going to look weird. But first thing to do is protect your track. So get some green painters tape out, tape it up, and that way you won't make a mess all over it. So see you when I get started. So yeah, so to make the sides flat, paintable, all one color basically, use the plaster cloth. That's just as easy as getting it wet. It should be an interesting video to edit later. Throw it on top, always overlapping your plaster cloth. Blend it all in. Then we just sit back and let it dry. That's a good pantser for, I guess. See you today. Okay, so now that we're waiting, well, we did wait. This is pretty much dry. Now we just got to paint it so it looks more like a rock face, grassy area, hill, cliff. It's all going to be behind plexiglass, but it's going to get rid of the blue and the white and the wood. And that's the main thing. So grab an old cup, throw some black paint in it, find a brush. And see how much of this I can get on the floor. Yep, I'm painting the floor. It's a good thing the wife doesn't actually come down here very often, so... I've got lots of different colors. I don't know how this is actually going to turn out, but it's a joy of paint and you can just do it. And if you like it, you keep it. If you don't, you redo it. Yeah. Why not? Paint some foam and some wood. I tried.
Okay, so you kind of get the idea. It's starting to look like a Holstein cow. I don't want to hear any comments about that. Hunstein Holstein. But we'll paint it black, come back and see what other colors I put on there. So now that we got the base done in black and brown, so kind of your earth tones. Get it so it doesn't look like there's any lines. Paint lines. Well, we got yellow orca, ochre, whatever. Let's put that one on my cups. And a little bit of water to it. Ooh, I said a little bit. <laughs> See if I can clean this brush out a little bit better. Maybe I should have brought the other brush down too. Who knows? Uh, no, that wasn't a Saint Bernard. That was me, my mother-in-law. So, she takes the little girl to school in the morning, then she goes off to work. Then she comes back, gets ready, <coughs> and then goes and picks up the little girl. Well, I said I could have done it today, but. I don't know. So I'm sure this is going to make a hell of a mess. Uh, you see a little bit of that? I don't know. Really, really while you're down. Just kind of throw off some of the colors. I think Wendland Scenics calls this like the leopard spotting or something. To me, it just kind of blends it all together. You get the idea, if you kind of saw it, it's kind of blocking the camera anyway, so. So we got the plaster cloth on there. It's all nice and flat. We got it all painted up so it doesn't just look like white plaster cloth, blue board, blue foam board, and pieces of wood. Blended it all together with different colors. So now we just got to wait for it to dry and then with a bit of glue we'll put some green foliage on there, a couple little plants that are going to look like vines crawling up and down and then we'll start cutting some plexiglass. So see you in a bit. So now that we got it all painted up, add a little bit of the green coarse turf just to give it a little bit of a pop. Make it look like something's actually living on the side of the layout. Now the next thing I want to add is a little bit of vine work. So let's see how well I can do that. So we got a little bit of vegetation stuck on the side of... So we're going to let it all dry and we're going to get into cutting plexiglass. So I'm going to have to take some measurements up for that. Me doing a video of doing a video. Eh, not bad. So, give me a minute and we'll get the plexiglass all set up. <laughs> 